such potential to transform the dis-ease, the brokenness, and the imbalance in this world. And today we're hearing from all of our traditions, and from Judaism too, that there's the understanding that in order for the external world to be in balance and to be whole, each of us needs to be in balance to be whole. There are many troubled people who are suffering in this world. They don't know the meaning of impermanence, selflessness. They always struggle and fight. They hurt themselves and others. Please have compassion for them. They need help. Please have compassion for them. So, it never occurred to me that it actually was. And even to this day, there's a certain amount of, of a conflict in me, although facts have come out since. So I'll tell you one other little story about that. About a week later, I heard an interview with somebody who was interviewing an 11-year-old girl in an Islamic school somewhere in this country, I don't know where. And um, they were interviewing her, and they asked her if she knew about what happened on 9-11. And she said, oh, yes, I know, there were planes that flew into the and they asked her, well, do you think that uh, Osama bin Laden could have done something like that? And she said, oh, no, he could ne that could never have happened. And they said, why? And she said, well, because he's a Muslim. He wouldn't do anything like that. And they said, well, what, what if it can be proven that he did do it? And she had to think for a second. And she said, um, well, then that would mean that he's not a Muslim. <laughs> changing bad people in the world. They may often be greedy and do bad things and say something bad. Please pardon them. They need help. With great compassion, pardon them. And the reason I say to the Christians, it is our task is because when you go to another country, as I will go to the Middle East in just a week, they will think of our country as a Christian country, and they will have listened to our president, and they will wonder, who, who are these Christians who say that Islam is an evil religion? Who are these Christians who say that God does not hear the prayer of a Jew? Is this the voice of Christianity? And it is of great importance that Christians of good faith be worthy of the calling to which they have been called. And they are called not to force their faith on everyone else, not to see every other faith as inadequate or even worse. But Christians are called to respect the faith of all the faithful. Because I will tell you, my friends, the business of religion 
is to bring peace and justice to the world. And there is no way that religion can be the agent of peace building if religion itself is a source of dissension and hatred and suspicion. All of the faiths have to respect deeply one another. Because if they do not, they cannot do the task that they have been given to do. And that is to be peace builders.